If you think about the category of spirits, everyone talks about vodka, but right now tequila growth is outpacing vodka about five times. And this year it is about um, plus 8% so far. There's so much demand for tequila now. There's agave shortages? There are. We're really lucky because we're single origin source, so we're all from this one family in this one town, but almost everybody in the business is really struggling because the agave demand is significant, and prices since we launched our business have gone up almost 18 times. Why are people shifting, maybe most particularly millennials, it would seem, away from beer and towards spirits? You and maybe, I mean, tequila's hot, Brown goods are hot again. Completely. So we're seeing it in millennials, but also um, sort of my age group are really moving away because people, I think, have got sort of this fatigue of drinking the same thing and they want some flavor. Mm -hmm. And because of the brown spirits trend, you're seeing aged tequilas. It's almost like if you want to be social and you don't want to be by yourself sipping your whiskey, you drink tequila. Aged in oak casks? They what? are, yeah, American oak As we casks. look at these yep. bottles that we have in front of us, or maybe the ones that are over there. Right. Uh, well, now we got them right here. Now we got them right in front here. Tell me the difference. Tell me what the price points are. Tell me yeah, what's so hot. Yeah, so silver, um, this is our Avion Silver, and it won World's Sun? Best Tasting Tequila at the World Spirits Competition, so we're super proud of it. And it is pure. World's it's just agave and spring water, and then distilled in this really small batch, handcrafted way. And then our Reposado, thank you, exactly. That one's aged six months in oak casks. Mm -hmm. The Añejo, two years. And then um, this stuff is really special. And talk about on fire high-end tequila. It's really an interesting That category. bottle, How much retail? Uh, $150. And that's if four, you can find 44 it right now. years, right? 44? So no, it's aged um, 44 months. Months, um, okay. And then at the end, in these small, petite, little um, American oak barrels that are just gr this great flavor. So no. very small supply. Very small supply of it, which is why everyone, I think, wants it. So George Clooney sells his tequila brand, Casamigos, for a valuation of about a billion dollars. What does that make you think about in terms of your exit and how much Avion is now worth? You know, I'm not sure it changes necessarily the exit value because that is all about a celebrity and one celebrity. And when you think about sort of like the middle-aged generation, um, my generation, it was about celebrity. We were sort of like in awe of celebrity. But the millennial is much more about provenance, where something's from, how it's made, much less so about the celebrity themselves. So you're positioning Avion as the young person's tequila brand, the, millen the, the tequila of the next generation? I would say, so yes. Well, that's sort of where it naturally is gone, because uh -huh. I think because it is about this single source, this wonderful family um, that... Are more drinkers it. drinking tequila straight or sipping it as opposed to having it... I assume that the vast bulk of it is sold for margaritas, but... But are more people drinking it straight? And how can I be a better taster? Because I am telling you, if you put them out there and close my eyes, I'm not sure I'd be able to tell the difference. Oh, you would be able to tell oh, the you difference. Would? Yeah, absolutely. Well, we'll have to prove Ab that absolutely. fact. Absolutely. We'll do a little blind taste test. It's perfect break. for yes. the power lunch, I think. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so the, um, the sipping trend is really interesting. Margaritas are still the number one cocktail in America. Sure. But we're seeing much more sipping, men and women, and also really popular right now, it used to be the vodka soda, it's the tequila and soda. Just mm -hmm. tequila, spritz of soda, and a little lime. I'll have to try that. Yeah. How many women like you are in the booze business? Um, definitely not enough. We, we need more. It's a rare thing. Um, and so it's something that our team really try, works to make sure that we get women into the spirits and wine business. And you're one of the initial investors. You're one, yes. of, the, one of the co-founders. Yep, absolutely. Congratulations. Pioneer. We yeah, hope no. you've gotten really rich. Here's to <laughs> National uh, Tequila Day or whatever. Here, here. Yeah, thank, Cheers to you. Yeah, thank you very much for coming in. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.